today I'm super excited. I'm gonna be demoing this brand new Mercedes GLE 350. I'm gonna tell you what I like about this car and what I don't like about it. So hop in with me and we're gonna go for a test drive. So the GLE 350 is the newer version of the ML 350. If you guys are familiar with that car, um, their SUV, Mercedes SUV in general, are one of the best. And that's the reason why I love them because not only is it one of the safetyest car, it is so quiet, it's very luxurious, and it has a lot of room. So this model is a white GLE 350, and it's the smart start, I believe. My old one, I actually need the key to push in the start. This one, you don't need it. One thing I noticed right away compared to the ML series, it's a lot more quiet. So let's go for a ride. Everything else, it's a little similar, just newer and more smooth I would say the steering wheel if you're not used to a loose steering wheel it might overwhelm you a little bit in the beginning because it literally you barely have to move and the wheels glide back and forth really smooth another thing that I'm gonna say that it drives me crazy in all the Mercedes is the cruise control it's right next to where your signal like when you're turning left and right oftentimes I hit the cruise control once or twice a day, I'm not kidding you. And it's annoying and I just wish they would put it maybe on this side or somewhere else, not near my signal turns. So as I'm turning, I notice another thing. When you're pushing on the gas, you really don't need to put a lot of pressure. My ML350, I had to always put a little bit more pressure to get it up the hill. I live in Oregon and I live in a part of Oregon that has a lot of hills and downhill. So when I did have to push on the gas to give it a little bit of speed. I always felt a little jerk in my old model. This one, it's so smooth, you barely have to tap it. Another thing that I like about this car for women or mothers out there, you could be so small and petite like me and still see the entire car. It's a big, big car, but it drives like a sedan. It's really strange because I also have a sedan Mercedes 350 and it feels exactly the same. Normally, I wouldn't be able to drive an SUV because I would literally run into the curb when I'm parking. And this is the reason why I stick with Mercedes family because it feels like you're driving a sedan, not an SUV. Another thing that I like is the screens are huge. They come with the satellite radio when you purchase them. I don't ever listen to the radio very much. Often I have a bunch of kids in the background and they're screaming and yelling at me so I just have the radio off. Another thing that's different than the ML that I'm not used to is this little knob that controls the radio and it has a little gadget right here on the side. I really wish they would put this somewhere else because it gets in the way when I'm resting my arm and I actually have very short arm range. Another car that we were debating between was the X5. Now the X5, that was a beautiful car too. The only thing I didn't like about it, it felt really stiff, but the power in that car was amazing. If I need to take it to Mount Hood, it would go through the snow like no issue, but I don't really need a lot of horsepower. I need a comfortable safety car for my kids. It fits the car seat with no issue. I have two gigantic car seats in the back and I still have a lot of room to put the diaper bag and my purse. Another thing that I love about this car is the trunk space. There's so much room back there. I could load a bunch of grocery and have no issue. A lot of the kids have their soccer gear and I still have plenty of room in there. It's actually one of the car when we looked at had the most trunk space. So the one thing that I noticed the difference with this model is, and I love, love, love so much because I'm horrible at reversing, their backup camera is so clear. So, so clear. I feel like I'm watching a movie when I'm reversing and it will even start to beep at me if there's a car on my side when I'm driving or parking. I've had experience when I was on the freeway and an SUV, another SUV came too close and it literally beeped at me to let me know that there was someone on my side, my left or my right. Um, also, I love that you don't ever have to touch your phone, but all the new technology is amazing. You can make a phone call, literally just right there. It's keyless. You can start your car within two seconds and the car warms up so fast. Even their AC is super quiet. I don't know what they did different in this model, but it's extremely, extremely quiet. 
I'm really sorry if you guys came into this video thinking you're gonna get a super crazy intense car depth video. I'm not a car expert. I really just love cars. I love the feeling of car and the main thing that I love about certain car is the safety of it. The reason why I chose to do this video is because I do like Mercedes. I've used Mercedes for the last almost 10 years now. My family has used them and has never had any issue with service, customer service, or even just the car itself. They are really a reliable car. And the fact that I have three kids and I commute them every day, I just want to share it to another mother or father out there who is in the market thinking about getting a Mercedes SUV. I seriously give you a high thumbs up for it. Get it. You'll never regret it. And it's just such an amazing car. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.